In this edition of our GAN Advanced Learning Series, we will discuss the gate drive requirements for the eGAN FET and current solutions. The advantage of gallium nitride power transistors starts with superior conduction characteristics that allow for a much smaller chip for the same RDS on. The smaller device and lateral structure of the eGAN FET give much lower capacitances and charges for the same RDS on. QGD, which determines classic switching loss, is one-fifth to one-tenth of a MOSFET with similar on-state resistance. QOSS is less than half of that of a MOSFET with similar on-state resistance. There are no minority carriers, therefore no stored charge and zero QRR. Inductance has become a dominating contributor to switching performance. The small, white chip scale package of EPC's EGAN FETs gives a very low inductance. When compared with MOSFETs, the superior figures of merit for EGAN FET devices result in a significant efficiency increase. This can be taken as an efficiency benefit, increased output current, or increased frequency to reduce size. For more background on EPC's GAN technology, please visit the GAN library on our website at epc-co.com for a vast collection of information on GAN fundamentals and practical application. Here we can see the device on resistance versus gate voltage for a typical part. We can see that the on resistance is pretty flat beyond 4 to 4.5 four volts. If we add to this the requirement that the gate voltage must never exceed 6 volts, then this leaves up a gate drive voltage range of between 4 and 5 and a quarter volts, with the best drive voltage between 4.5 and, and 5 volts. Here we can see an equivalent circuit of the EGAN FET and a driver showing the series gate resistor and anti-parallel diode typical to MOSFET driver circuits, as well as the gate driver pull up and down resistances. We can see that the plateau voltage for reasonable currents are right in the middle of the drive voltage at approximately 2 to 2.5 volts, allowing both the turn on drive voltage and turn off drive voltage to be somewhat symmetrical. Since the threshold voltage is about 1.5 volts, it is important to minimize the impedance and voltage drop at turn off, so an anti-parallel diode is not recommended. Instead, it is preferred to have separate pull-up and pull-down driver output pins, so external resistors can be added to adjust these independently. Lastly, it is important to minimize the common source inductance by routing the gate return as close to the EGAN FET as possible. Another important aspect of the drive solution is the limited overhead between, say, a 5V drive and the 6V absolute maximum of the EGAN FET gate. To avoid gate overshoot at the device, it is necessary to DQ the gate loop. To do this, the gate loop resistance, including internal gate resistance, drive pull-up resistance, and gate resistor, need to be larger than the term under the square root as shown. Since the gate capacitance is fixed, this requires either a relatively large resistance or minimizing the gate loop inductance, including common source inductance and the inductance of going through the gate driver bus capacitor. This is done by placing the driver as close as possible to the device. Use low inductance driver packages to complement the LGA package of the EGAN FET. And then finally, adjust the gate resistance to minimize or remove the overshoot completely. Another important requirement for the gate driver is the high side supply regulation for a half ridge application. Using a bootstrap supply is one of the most cost effective ways to provide power to the floating high side device. But if the low side device ever has its body diode conduct, then the switch node voltage can go negative by about 2 volts. Without a high side regulator or clamp, this can cause excessive voltage on the high side device. This graph shows how TI's LM5113 keeps the high side regulated, shown in purple, compared to just a regular bootstrap diode, shown in green. To control the dead time, it is beneficial to have separate inputs for the high and low side devices. In the LM5113 gate driver, the optimized pull-up resistance is used to manage turn-on voltage overshoot, and the low pull-down resistance manages turn-off. These are the announced driver ICs optimized for EGAN FETs. 
For the latest on new product releases, please check epc-co.com forward slash epc forward slash products forward slash egan drivers. Thank you. For more information, please visit us at www.epc-co.com. To join our mailing list for updates on EPC news and product introductions, please scan the QR code.